Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to delete files from your external hard drive. So, for example, right here, I have my disk for my external hard drive. So, let's just go right into it. Now, here's my backup, and let's just go into this folder for now. So, I have a ton of videos here, and to delete them, all I have to do is click on one of them. Now, I can right click and then just select delete. All right, you can move it to trash. So, move to trash. It's your third option. Let me just zoom in so you guys can see. So you guys can pick this option, there we go, and you move it to my trash, and then I would always empty my trash bin. If you guys don't empty your trash bin, if you plug this into a PC, for example, then it's not fully, fully deleted. So you guys do always want to empty your trash bin once you have deleted this. So that's one way. Just in case you guys didn't know that you can right click on your Mac, you guys can activate that right here in System Preferences. So just go into System Preferences, and I'm going to teach you this really fast, okay? Under Trackpad, for those of you who have a MacBook, you guys can activate the secondary click, so that would be the right click. If you guys have a mouse, you guys can also activate the secondary click, which is really, really handy to have, so you guys can actually right click on anything. So again, you guys can right click here, move to Trash, and there you go, and then empty your trash bin. Now another way to delete any file, you guys can click on it, and then press Command Delete, and that would delete it. However, again, you guys do have to go into your trash bin, so let me just zoom in on my trash bin right there. I can click on my trash bin to open it up, and from here on the right hand side, you guys will see empty. So just click on empty, it's gonna give you this message. All right, do you want to erase? Yes, I do. I want to empty my trash bin and get rid of these guys forever. And there you go. If you guys want multiple files, of course you can just select multiple. You guys can even press Command A on this folder to get rid of all of them. Or you guys can just select a few of them. Again, Command Delete on your keyboard. So always remember to empty your trash where you can right click on your trash, okay? And then what you guys will see if you right click, just empty trash, all right? And then you guys should get this message saying that if you want to really delete these files, yes you do, and there you go. So that's how you delete files on Mac. It doesn't really matter what type of file you guys have. If you guys would want to delete everything, your external hard drive, you have a bunch of files, the easiest way actually is to format it. So we're gonna go into disk utility. Disk utility looks like this. All right, that's your disk utility. However, we're gonna look for it in Spotlight Search. So right here, we're gonna type in disk utility. We're gonna open up disk utility. You guys are gonna format it. So here's my external hard drive. Now I have it partitioned into three parts. Don't worry about the partitions. You guys will probably just see one thing right here. Just click on your main one. All right. And it's called Seagate. You guys could have any other name there. It doesn't really matter what it is. And once we press erase, it's going to delete everything inside the actual external hard drive. So if you want to delete all files, this would be that. We're going to press erase. Now, erasing will format your external hard drive. So you have to make sure what you guys want. If you guys want this external hard drive to just work with Mac, then this is your option. If you guys want this to work with Mac and PC, then choose XFAT. I do not recommend using this. Usually for people that want to use their external hard drive with their TVs, they, they have to choose this unless you have a newer TV, which does in fact work with XFAT. Okay, older TVs usually it's this option, which really sucks because it doesn't take any files more than four or five gigs, something like that. So I don't recommend using this, but XFAT, that works with both Mac and PC. Then you guys would just put in erase. I'm gonna do that right now. So it's erasing my entire data, all right? Everything inside my external hard drive and it's formatting it again. So right now it's going to work with both Mac and PC. Now let's say I don't want any viruses to get inside. I just want this to work with Mac. Then I would choose this option. I would press Erase. And there we go. It's going to 
format it in just a second. So every time we're formatting, we're actually raising things. Now there are secure ways to format this. If you guys are in a rush, this would be the way to do it. The security wise way <laughs> takes forever. So might not be for most of you because it could take an entire day. So I'm gonna teach you that, the most secure way to erase files so people can recover them. Because as you know, even if you delete your files or if you guys go ahead and do this, what I just taught you, people can actually still get back your files. Not all the time, maybe they can get some of them back, but they may be able to do that. So you guys see this option as security options. You guys can click there. And here we go. If you guys do the most secure, this could take forever, <laughs> okay? Uh, literally forever to actually format it. So you guys can choose what type of security you guys want. The fastest, ob obviously, people can recover up to a certain point. Okay, even this tells you. A disk recovery application may be able to recover the files. Uh, right here, a little bit more. So I'm not even gonna click on this because it does take forever. And this video is just not long enough for you for that. But if you guys want security, do this. But make sure to have a lot of time. Don't just have an hour on your hands, even if you guys choose this option. Make sure you have a lot of time, okay? At least a day if you guys want that. Now, it does, yes, it does depend how big your hard drive is. Maybe it's only, you know, 200 gigs, then it won't take that long. But if you guys have a terabyte or anything bigger than that, it could take a day and last time i did the most secure one it took a day and a half so it took me very long um and it also depends on what external hard drive you guys have if you guys have a faster external hard drive it might not take you guys a day it might take you just even the most secure way it could just take you you know a couple hours maybe even an hour so it really depends what external hard drive you guys have so this is the way to do it so people can recover your files all right i'm just gonna click ok and cancel for now but that's how you do it. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.